Hi, Gemini. Welcome. So, Gemini, this is going to be your tarot reading, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. Gemini, when I was meditating on the collective energy for you, I was getting messages about, like, taking it with a grain of salt, right? Things may be feeling a little bit serious right now or more serious than maybe you would like it to be. Or there might be this message, too, about, like, you taking something seriously that you really should just kind of take with a grain of salt, especially if it has to deal with like the opinion or the judgment of another person, as I feel like that might be impacting the Gemini energy for whatever reason. And then I was getting a song, um, just one part of the song. He says, and if you love me, don't let go. This house don't feel like home. I'm alone. This house don't like home. Um, sorry, I had to sing it out loud because I am trying to think of who the artist is. Hmm, I'm sure somebody will know it. Put it in the chat if you know it. Anyways, your cards are popping. So let's see how this all relates to your reading. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, guys. So interestingly enough, we got the card of healing and the fifth house of passion. So there might actually be some healing to do around relationships during this time frame um, or the relationship that you have with yourself here, Gemini. This card often talks about growth, making amends, releasing things that don't serve us, our personal development, overcoming self-doubt. It also talks about generational and like family issues or trauma. Um, and mostly this card highlights something really important, which is forgiveness. And then it's paired with the fifth house. So right behind that energy is coming this more playful, less serious attitude, which makes complete sense, right? Because the message that I got was like, take this with a grain of salt. So there's something here that um, you may be healing from, but like the, the quickest path to healing is through joy, is through love, is through your wholeness, right? And... Um, a lot of people miss that. They miss that step. They they feel like healing is, you know, sitting in and dwelling in the emotion or the memory of something, which that does play a part, right? But really what it is is more so finding the silver lining, finding happiness in your life anyways, and giving your focus to that. Um, so they're wanting you to infuse less serious energy and more passion into your life, more fun, more love, uh, maybe even some humor. Sometimes, you know, watching a funny movie or, you know, laughing is like super therapeutic, right? It just, it just heals your body and your soul. So some more laughter in the mix, maybe. And then you have the six of wands, which is about successfully overcoming something okay um it also talks about um oh, okay uh recognition and i was getting the song that's why they say congratulations by post malone so there also might be something like a congratulations coming in for the un from the universe or something to be proud of or you might be congratulating someone on something so i'm hearing a milestone some of you are reaching a very pivotal milestone during um leo virgo season but take it as it reckon as it recognates <laughs> no <laughs> as it resonates oh my gosh i'm already tongue tied great um so let's go further into this. I do feel like, too, there's like, I feel like I'm talking really super fast. Like the communication sector, Gemini, um, you might catch yourself like talking really fast or <laughs> um, connecting with someone who talks a lot. Maybe um, they're highlighting communication. So I don't know. Let's see. Let's see where this is headed for my Gemini. All right, so we're going to look at, if I can shuffle, what is the deal? <laughs> I got it. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to look at the head space first, Gemini. Then we're going to look at the heart space and what you have going on there. And then the big spiritual picture and what you need to know. So let's start with space for Gemini. 
I just keep hearing that one part of the song, this house don't feel like home. Some of you may feel a little bit uncomfortable in your environment or it's just like a sense like even being in your comfort zone, but yet for some reason, you know, feeling uneasy, okay? Um, maybe there's something you feel like you're missing in your life, Gemini. Sorry, I don't even keep itch itching myself. All right, so I'm getting, I want to talk to you guys for a second about what home really is. Um, and I'm going to give you an example that's personal to me because I'm feeling called to do it, but you may relate. Um, you guys know that I recently moved locations, right? And somebody commented on my, uh, Facebook. They said, well, Dana, don't you miss your home? And, um, I was kind of taken aback by that for a second, but I thought about it and my answer was, home is an internal location right it's not an external environment or a building and so no i don't miss my home because my home is me within me and i guess i'm feeling called to bring that back to the forefront for you gemini is that if you're looking for comfort in external means um or people just a reminder to you that where your true home is, where your true safe space is, is right here within your heart, within your soul. And you take that with you wherever you go because you take you with you wherever you go. And that's where the saying comes from that my body is a temple because your body is your home. And if you can feel comfortable with that, with just that thought, then you can live anywhere, you can travel anywhere, and always feel at home and that's a power move because a lot of people are afraid to leave their comfort zone of what's familiar to them especially if they've lived there their whole life and I don't know why I'm bringing this up other than maybe some of you may be grappling with you know leaving a situation or a circumstance or a place or a job or whatever because you've identified that as home and the reminder is no that home goes with you it's internal it's an internal job and um if you could understand that and you can, you can get right with that then you'll never fear <laughs> being away from home I don't know why this is coming up, but I guess this is the message here. And as I say fear, I get the seven of swords out. So anyways, <laughs> uh, Gemini, let's look at the cards now. So four of swords, page of pentacles, seven of swords, page of wands. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, there's this, there is this a little bit of fear going on in the headspace of uncertainty or fearing the worst or like I get more of like just an uncomfortable vibe, right? Which I don't usually get that message from the seven of swords, but that's kind of what I feel. It's just like, it's in this space, Gemini, where you may feel really, honestly, for a lot of you, you may feel at peace and at home with where you're currently at. And there's potential in that. But then there's this also this desire to kind of go outside of that and to play around in the energy and have some new experiences. And maybe some of you holding yourself back out of fear of, you know, leaving your safe space or your feathered nest or, you know, and they're wanting you to be less serious and more playful about whatever you have going on, right? Because in the big picture, there is growth, there's expansion, there's success coming through. Um, so, and I, I get to like, even some of you, if you are uncomfortable, right, in a situation uh, or an environment, you not necessarily being forthright with that or completely honest with that. Um, I, I get that it's coming from a sense of wanting to feel capable. Um, well, you are capable, right? Um, but there seems to be like some sort of facade around that or not trying to be hard on you, Gemini, but like uh, not wanting to fully admit how you feel all the time.
So it's interesting the messages that I'm getting because they're not completely in alignment with the cards, but yet this is what I'm getting. So, um, some of you have this fear of like, you know, something interfering with your peace. Okay, but it's just a fear. And what does fear stand for? False evidence appearing real. And that's because this is not a law of insertion universe. It is a law of attraction. So you are completely responsible and in control of everything and everyone you attract into your life. So that's why they're wanting you to be more playful about it. I'm also hearing assume positive intention, okay, when you're dealing with others, but also take positive intention into your own heart before you do anything during this time frame. So let's see where this is headed and go a little bit deeper into the emotional space for my Geminis. Go a bit deeper. Eight of Wands. Strength card, beautiful. Oh goodness, here's that five of pentacles underneath the seven of swords, which is more fear-based, insecure energy. And I'm gonna show this to you. Now you see like this person is at home, but they feel alone. There's this message here about, again, the feeling of loneliness, let's go to that, or the feeling of not feeling like you belong. That is nothing to do with the people around you or the surroundings that you're in. And everything to do with your thought process and how you're feeling about self in that moment. When we feel that sense of loneliness, it's because we are not being there for ourselves. It's because we are allowing our thoughts to deviate away from the knowing that we are loved and well and protected by the universe, by source, by God. And so <clears throat> when you start to feel like those emotions creep in, Gemini, it's just an indicator, right? That whatever you're thinking about in that moment is not in alignment with how your higher self is seeing you, with how your higher self is uh, loving you. Um, it's, it's you cutting yourself off from the love that is available to you at all times from the universe and from source. It's nothing more than the way that you're perceiving a situation and the way that you're thinking about a situation. Because you're never truly alone, even when you are alone. And you're never without home because home lives within you. So... I don't know why this message is so strong other than I clearly have some Geminis tuning in that might be grappling with something like this or might there might be a moment Gemini in August and September where you find yourself, you know, uh, dealing with something like this or dealing with this energy. If so, come back to the reading because it's like such a strong message. I can't even get away from it to be able to fully read the cards. <laughs> And it's the only barrier or blockage that I see in your energy right now. All right. So otherwise, I feel like here you are. Um, maybe feeling a little bit more confident, feeling strong. There's that communication coming through. There might be a lot of uh, conversations or communication or texts or phone calls coming through during this time frame. There might be a lot of potential opportunities to have fun, to have more passion in your life, to get out there a little bit more. But see, there's something here that has yet to be healed, and it's from the past, right? And it's on an emotional level, and it has to do with this feeling of home or familiarity and having um, maybe some limiting beliefs around what that really means, okay? Uh, because I do feel like the past having an impact on your emotional well-being it's like um it's like pushing forward right trying to take things with a grain of salt and then like either someone from the past or like just old energy or memories coming through and that really taking you down emotionally
or has the ability to do that. They're saying if you're going to think about the past, at least think about the good things that came from it. And don't tell me that there wasn't anything good that came from it because your past is what grew and expanded you to who you currently are in this moment. And Source always sees you as perfect and good. So there is definitely something good that has come from a prior experience. Uh, some of you have learned to be more confident in who you are, how to take things with a grain of salt because of some past issues or traumas or experiences. It's actually brought out the inner child in you, the part of you that wants more passion. Wish y'all could see my legs. They're going, well, I have restless leg syndrome, but like really going crazy right now. <laughs> like you're on like a nervous Nelly from the waist down. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's go further. Woo! Shot out of the deck. All right, Seven of Pentacles, the Death and Rebirth card. I heard working on it. So a lot of you are working on self, you know, working on projects maybe that are helping to pull you out of this energy, or at least that would be helpful if you're not currently doing that. Um, there's balance coming through in the emotional relationship sector, some healing energy coming through here as well, and it's to deal with this blockage or this fear around a sense of home or a lack thereof abandonment on the other end of that coin but overall gemini there's yes you're going through some emotional and spiritual transitions right now all right but it's helping you to to better focus on the things that you want to work on on yourself and in your life and it's also bringing about karmic balance to relationships and also the relationship with yourself <clears throat> And you have two cards of success here, or recognition and attention. So I feel like as long as you can stay playful about things and kind of veer away from dwelling on the past too much, or when you do think about the past, try to reframe it in your mind into a positive direction, then balance comes into the equation. And then there's success here. Some of you, there is karmic justice coming through in the ways of financial success. Um, but it could also just be this feeling of, yeah, I am a successful person. Like, I am proud of myself. Um, you know, I have accomplished something or I've overcome a lot. You know, and this could be, like I said, from even generational type stuff. You know what I mean? Like, some of you are maybe the first person in your family to break some sort of generational cycle or you have the ability to do that in this lifetime and like bravo because that's a very difficult thing to do um because usually we get momentum towards what we observe as children and law of attraction gets a hold of that and tends to repeat those same issues in our lives that we watched our parents or our uncles or our aunts or our siblings or our grandparents go through. And that's how trauma is passed from generation to generation. It's through simple observation and then law of attraction, getting a hold of that thought process and then making it your reality as well. Um, but you have the ability to break all of that just by simply knowing that you have the ability to break that cycle by changing your mind, by focusing on what good has come out of that and pivoting your thought and that bringing about a huge revolution for you if you're able to do that consistently. So a few different things going on here, <laughs> some emotional healing, some generational stuff, um, big, big energetic changes here, all right? Um, but at the end of the day, Spirit is saying, be light about all of this, you know, uh, be playful about all of this because you can't get it wrong. And the reason you can't get it wrong is because it's never done. And the reason it's never done is because you're eternal and you constantly are in the state of creation, whether it be within this physical body or your next or your next or your next, or even in the afterlife, you do continue to create and stay conscious. So it's like, well, if that's the case, then Gemini, and it is, then why not have a little bit of fun with this, right? Why not um, celebrate yourself a little bit more and how far you've come? So let's see what the Law of Attraction has to say then. Okay. 
It says, envision more and act less, and I am life everlasting. I am eternal. Wasn't I just talking about eternity? Let's read that one first. It says, you cannot die. You are everlasting life. In grace, you may choose to relax and allow a gentle transition back into your non-physical state of pure positive energy. But just keep in mind that your natural state is forever. You are eternal. Oh, that's what I just said. <laughs> All right, and this one says, I envision more and act less. As you take the time to find images in your mind that are pleasing, you will more often achieve vibrational alignment with things that you desire. From that alignment, you will experience more inspired ideas and assistance from others. Inspired action is very satisfying and extremely productive. So essentially, Gemini, this is encouraging you to spend more time envisioning the good thinking about the good, imagining where you want to be in the future, but carving it out in the best possible light. Essentially, it's telling you to see the silver lining. But as you are able to continue to see the silver lining, then you get more silver linings presented to you via the universe. So, <clears throat> wow, Gemini, beautiful reading. Um, I hope this made sense to you, resonated with you. If it did, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe. Zodiac signs you could be connecting with or have in your birth chart or are influencing this reading. I have Leo, Pisces, Aries, Leo again, Scorpio, Libra. Uh, those are the primary signs I'm seeing. But it's a general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I am doing an event on Facebook Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. It's $9.99 to join. You can purchase tickets on my Facebook, which is linked down below, as well as the event. I'll be talking about how to connect with your intuition and your spirit guides. If you're interested in learning more about that, then please feel free to purchase a ticket and join me. Even if you can't catch it live, you can still watch the recorded version. Um, so check me out there. I'm also on Instagram, also linked down below. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so in the about section. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very, very best, Gemini. And until next time, my friends, namaste. Bye.